Okay, today is a tattoo tour day. My first, I'll go in order. So my first ever tattoo is my three little birds. And that one it has very deep meaning. Cause like, I feel like the first tattoo you have, you kind of need to really think through. You know, you, I really need something to drink. First of all, I got three because of the Holy Trinity. Cause I'm religious, so that's why it's a group of three. But it mainly represents freedom from mental health and struggles and stuff because you know a bird is inherently free and it's just kind of a reminder that nothing's permanent i will move forward i will move past it and eventually be free like a little birdie next the next tattoo i got was it was this one and they're little dandelion fuzzies um and my mom has a dandelion so like it's like blowing off of her dandelion um and I take it, well, first of all, they're just complimentary tattoos for mom and daughter, you know, so they're fun and fresh for us. But also, I just take it as kind of like to not forget where I'm from and who I am and who made me who I am. Um, so that's like that one. Next is I got this heart. It's an anat anatomically correct heart. Finally said that right. It takes very long for me to know how to say that. Um, and it's on my sleeve. I got it because I thought it was cool, but then I came up with the meaning after I got it, and the meaning is mainly that, like, okay to feel those emotions, it's okay to put other people first, it's okay to give everything you have emotionally and physically to other people, as long as you remember to take care of yourself, so it's okay to wear your heart on your sleeve, get it? <laughs> yeah, so fun. Um, the next one I got was this one, and it says you are part of more, and it's the handwriting of some of the kids I work with. Um, well, fun story. I basically, I'm, I was one of the head leaders, and so my Meet the Leader was like a, a drawing contest, and whoever won, I would get it tattooed. But children tend to draw, but then write a lot on their drawings. And so I took like five different kids in their drawings, and then I took words from each one to spell out this. And it's, it's to remind me that I have an impact because I work with all these kids and it's a it's a large impact i feel like a lot of people always think they're small or insignificant or that they don't have a large impact on the world but and i feel that way a lot but then i look at all these kids who are like excited to see me or come to me when they have problems or ask me for advice and i realize how much my impact has on this group of children and how hopefully hopefully I can make a positive difference in their life and then they make a positive difference in other people's lives so it's just a reminder that I'm part of more it's not just me it's like this whole web of people that I've influenced um next I got I have koi fish and they just represent strength I mean there's nothing really deep about that one I just thought it looked cool and I knew they represented strength so and financial success. Do I have that right now? No, but that's what it represents, apparently. Um, and then I have the giving tree. I mean, it's mainly a story about a mom who gives everything to her son, basically. That's what the metaphor is. But until I have kids, you know, I can't really relate to that metaphor. So again, it's kind of like the wear your heart on your sleeve where it's okay to give everything because that's what makes me happy, you know? And then my last one is the Velveteen Rabbit. And this one has significance to me because my mom used to read to me before I went to bed, before I could read to myself because I was a big reader. And it was one of the books she read to me at first. And um, so it's just kind of like I got this tattoo for her and because she kind of sparked my love of literature and reading and love of all that kind of stuff. And so if you haven't read The Velveteen Rabbit, definitely recommend it. It's like an easy read, obviously, because you guys are probably all pretty old. Um, <clears throat> but the premise of the story is basically that being loved makes a toy real and so in real life being loved and looking like you have been loved you know like you don't have to be this pristine creature you can be flawed and loved at the same time and that's what makes you real and the things you do in life don't really matter but the love you give and the love you receive matters and so I have like my own mental stuff so like 
I don't always feel real and so that's something that represents this but I've surrounded myself with so many people that I feel like love me and I love them and they make me feel real so I think eventually I'm gonna get like a real rabbit over here because that's how the velveteen rabbit like the story ends so that's like a metaphorical lovely moment for me okay so now I have a f just a few questions that I will answer because people had questions so which tattoo is my favorite um this is a hard one significant like significance wise like what it means definitely my three birds but like just overall my favorite is definitely like the rabbit because it's so cute there's so much detailing um so how long do they typically take so it kind of depends but since mine don't have shading and they're just lines basically it's usually just five to 15 minutes i'm gonna be dead honest like yeah none of these have taken over 15 minutes um what's the best spot to get them it really depends on the person wherever your your skin is you have more fat or more muscle between your skin and your bone is where it's gonna hurt less so if it's like a first tattoo situation definitely like outer bicep because it's not as close to the bone and it won't hurt as much um but that's like it's different for everybody and how bad do they hurt well okay this is like different difference there oh my god there's a difference between men and women for this like men, men tend to have more pain and more of a reaction to tattoos just because women have a higher pain tolerance um <clears throat> personally there are some where i barely felt like i barely felt my little dandelion fuzzies but then there are some that like i was really just <laughs> waiting for it to be done i have a zero to ten level scale though i would give it like at worst so far for me because it's on my arms nothing else i would give it like a like a five out of ten but like if i were to get it on my ribs or something that would be higher up to a ten so and my most painful tattoo i feel like was my heart especially because i got it touched up so the first time it hurt and then the second time it hurt worse so that one hurt the most because it's like closest to my bone i think do people judge me for having tattoos not vocally and nobody has vocally come up to me and been like you're kind of trashy for having tattoos I've, i feel like people are more likely to compliment you out loud than judge you out loud so i can't really i don't know um but i'm also just somebody who doesn't care uh because I just, I don't care. It's my body, they have representation, they have meaning, and people are gonna judge me for a lot of things, so it's not gonna stop me from having tattoos. But I feel like it's kind of just up to the person. I think our generation has normalized having tattoos. Like, I think it's just kind of like a common thing. So I feel like it's not as crazy anymore. Um, but yeah, so hit me up if you wanna get matching tattoos. I would gladly do that. And then aftercare, I do have some advice because I have seven tattoos. Um, soap is great, but it has to be unscented soap. And keep it out of the sun. So many people don't know that. You have to keep it out of the sun for like a month. Like don't suntan with it, it's gonna get ruined. Um, do not use aquifer. I feel like so many people use aquifer and it traps the bacteria. Like it's like it, makes an oily surface and it traps the bacteria so like use i don't know an unscented moisturizer i use my cerave body lotion and it works wonders so yeah i have not regretted any of my tattoos yet yet we'll see we'll see um and i'm probably actually gonna get more over thanksgiving or winter break i really i love them i feel like they suit me so yeah I can always do an updated tattoo tour, but that's the one for right now, is I have seven. So, thanks for watching, or, or whatever. Um, I can definitely do a part two when I have more tattoos, or if there's more questions. I feel like I covered a solid amount of basis on tattoos. So, thank you guys so much.